So today is the day we are headed to Texas to go pick up seven calves from one guy, pick up two more calves from a good buddy, Travis Gidley. And uh, it's kind of one of them days they're supposed to have some fighting blood in them. So we're gonna go down and test them, see if they have any fight to them at all. And if they do, then we're gonna load them up, take them to the house, let them grow up, and eventually uh, use them for the bull schools. So. diesel no tank gonna make it happen so we're almost to Decatur but nonetheless it's been a good trip got my co-pilot and up-and-coming bullfighter Ray Carlson doing his workouts I don't really know what that's about working on my grips man yeah you need to work on your grip you gotta, gotta be strong to get a hold of one. Ray, he uh, had a really bad accident back in February. February of last year, 2018, February. And Ray ended up breaking his leg. Really bad wreck. Uh, snapped both bones. Came out the skin. Came compound out the skin. Fracture. Compound fracture. Everything that they say on the ER movie. And. Uh, so he's on the mend. He's been going to therapy, trying to get healed back up. And we thought he was healed up, ended up getting back in the bullpen, and the very first bull wipes him out. Come to find out the first surgery wasn't good. So had terrible tell, him, tell him what you've got going on now, Ray. Uh, right now, since my second surgery, I had a guy, a tanny nose do it, and Dr. Jones out of Dallas, and uh, he did an awesome job. And all I've been doing here lately is physical therapy. I go back to the doctor tomorrow and hopefully get released and then start start back PT again with uh, Kevin Taylor, one of the Justin Sports Medicine guys. And, and uh, just step by step, getting better every day, get back in the old arena. So he is hoping for good news tomorrow. That is Tuesday, the 18th. 18th. He's hoping to get released, and then before long, he'll be back in the bullpen. But nonetheless, he has uh, got a positive mind, a positive spirit, and he's going to be back, guys. Be checking him out. Man, it's a nice, nice arena, huh? Looks really nice to me. Little arena out here uh, just outside of Decatur, Texas, uh, where we're going to break out the capes and see if these old calves will fight. They're little old calves, but uh, I just want to see if they'll show any kind of interest at all in fighting before we decide to pursue them to the bull school. the story on these calves here <laughs> where are they bred out of this one here is out of a mexican bull and an f1 cow right on pretty good old bull uh it's one of the bulls that bred 
Hall halls. Miss Roy, what's your take on the bullfights all going on right now? The bullfights are a lot better than the bull ridings. The boys that get out there and fight bulls and take their hook and the bull riders won't try. <laughs> you like taking care of them, buddy? Sorry, he's talking to you. What? Charles a bull man. You like, the, you like taking care of the bulls? Yes, sir. You ever fought any of them? Say I fought old milk jug. I fought, I fought old milk jug. <laughs> what, do you, what do you think of these calves? Huh? What do you think? They're pretty waspy. You think they're going to do the deal? Think they're really going to fight? So you say it's too wild, though. I bet you're right. <laughs> She, uh, once she settled down, she kind of started fighting. Uh, she'll work. We're loading her up, taking her to the house. Thank them so far. Hey, I'm gonna tell you something. It is hot in Decatur, Texas, right now, <laughs> and I might need to start hitting the cardio a little bit more. <laughs> Mr. Carter, what do you think of them so far? I think they're great. Like them? Hot little dudes. Yeah. Roy, you uh, you kind of been around the bull business, the bull fighting industry your whole life. Uh, what's kind of some some cool, you know, highlights of your career of raising bulls? 
fighting bull. Uh, most of my highlights was with Rex. I'd send him anything that I had that would fight. He went on with it and had some really great bulls. Do you uh, do you ever send anything to him, to Rex that ended up going the finals or? Oh yeah. What, which one's him been? That was a six E bull, and I can't remember his name, but he was one of his best bulls, the red high horn bull. Be a uh, why me? Could have been. Bald face. Yep. Yep. That'd be him. That'd be why me. John Brogan had him in 2000. And then uh, I sent him some half Mexicans that did real well too, but I don't remember what they were. You bet. I sent him a little Bramer bull I bought in Crossed Arkansas at the rodeo one time. Was there? Marvin and I were rodeoing, and a boy there in town had some bulls, and as a little gray Bramer, we bought him to buck, and he bucked pretty good, but his sun gun would line you out and hook you. Rex did real well with him. I don't remember what he called him, though. Gotcha. He wasn't a real big bull. So, what do you think about all these fighting bulls? Pretty cool stuff? Yes, sir. You enjoy it? Yes, sir. Shoot, yeah, man. One. Hey, what's up, guys? Ross Hill One on the Insta, if you're there. Come pick us up. Sponsored by Fit and Wise. <laughs> Woo! Had to call in the back of it. It's getting hot. We're having a good time, though. That's what it's all about. I'm back up. I'm going to get way back. <laughs>
Michaels. What do you think so far? Who would have thought we'd be out here doing a little bull schooling on just a fine Monday afternoon? That's normal. But who would have thought that one of my guys, one of my protégés, oh. was teaching me something? There we go. He's going to show you how to do it. Show it to him. Woo, that was pretty. Cape. Show him the cape. Show him the cape. Ready, Stick yeah. that arm way out there, Sarl. Woo. Put your arm way out in front. So you got a little, there you go. There you it is. Give him a little bump. Right there. Yes, sir. Now Woo. stop. Put it back out there. That's nice, it. Nice, Sarl. <laughs> Slow. Hold on. You got to hold on. You Let him turn. Ready. Let him hit it. Now back the other way. Back the other way. And then all yes, Sarl. All right. Yeah, baby, that's what's up. <laughs> Nuts. Mr. Carter. kind of the future of the bull school we're putting together a set that we're going to be able to use every year and then all the genetics everything headed down we'll be able to just keep keep young fresh calves coming up for all the students coming to the bull school it's right here that's what it's all about Made it down here to Travis Gidley Ranch, Hi, and uh, he sold us a couple calves. We're gonna take back, put with the other herd that we got earlier that we're caping, and let them grow up, see what they do. 